Okay, I'm gonna say it. It's hot. It's damn hot out here. I just got back just from parking a car. And look at me, I'm all sweaty. Got a little bit of swamp out there. And I'm pretty sure every single person in South of America can agree with me. In fact, not even America. You gotta always be in the South and you'd still be hot. It's hotter than the sun out here. You can fry an egg if you want. We don't have many animals here, okay? We have just oh. lizards and bugs and all that kind of stuff. We don't get any squirrels. Squirrels. We don't get a lot of squirrels down here in Coachella. Squirrels. I remember we went to New York for like a school field trip. A bunch of people from Coachella went to New York for a school field trip. And do you know what we found interesting at a zoo? We went to a zoo, okay? Uh, New York Zoo. And you know what the most interesting thing we found? Was a squirrel. A squirrel of all animals. Well, of course, the zoo was also closed, but mainly we saw a squirrel and we enjoyed gawking our eyes at that. We were literally taking photos all around. Everyone had the phones out, you know, taking photos of this one squirrel. The squirrel's probably like looking around like, I never get this much attention. Everyone's usually telling me to go F right off. Yeah. You know why? I don't have squirrels in Coachella. Because they'd burst into flames just like the broomstick. They would be engulfed in flames and turn right into ash. We get a bunch of Kirk squirrels if we had squirrels down here. Now all we have are like lizards and those pesky ants. Those ants that always intrude your leg anytime you're just trying to mow the grass. That is if you have any grass. Because every single time I go outside during the summer, all the grass just turns yellow. The grass dies down here. They can't handle the heat. Also not to mention of the fact that when you go outside, if you buy a chocolate bar, you better be running back home. And even then, you're lucky if the chocolate bar still has some sort of shape because if that chocolate bar makes it home in less than five minutes, then it just becomes goop in your hands. You have no chocolate bar. All you have is chocolate pudding. And of course, nothing's worse than the humidity. Humidity is the worst than heat. Humidity, when it comes to like a power level, the humidity is even more powerful than heat, in my opinion. Why? Because when you feel heat, you feel it on your skin. When you feel humidity, you feel it everywhere in your lungs. You can't even breathe when it's humid. Like, I myself, as an asthmatic person, the heat does not go for me. If I take two more steps in the heat, I start going, I start breathing really <sighs> because I just can't breathe. I can't breathe. And I, whenever I try to exercise in the heat, I have to exercise like early in the morning. And even then the humidity is just in, unbearable. Like I just finished one lap at the park and all of a sudden I'm breaking sweats all over the place. I can fill up a pool with my sweat. It gets, I get so sweaty out here. I get sweatier than a sweater. I get so sweaty, I can give everyone in the world a glass of water. I get so sweaty that this hat no longer becomes a hat, but it becomes a bowl. You seen those old cartoons when they lift up the hat and the water falls out? Yeah, that's how I go. That's how I live. I pull up my hat, all of a sudden the sweat pours down my face. I'm disgusting. I sweat so much, I can grow a garden with my own sweat. I should probably just make that a business, you know? Hand grow garden. Gar secret ingredient, water from my own sweat. Tears and blood. Mostly sweat and tears. Jesus Christ. The summer is unbearable here in the south. It's just unbearable. It's horrible. Anyway, I just want to rant about that too.